That Mule Won't Work. Adapted by Tara J. Morrow. Illustrated by Ron Husband. Once upon a hot and sunny afternoon, an old man and his only grandson was resting and talking. They lived all by themselves on a big farm where they worked and played together. The grandson was a good boy, but he was not always up to doing his share of the work. If the grandfather asked him to go to the store for a quart of milk, the grandson would say, I hurt my leg when I was fishing this morning. If the grandfather asked him to go out in the yard and rake the leaves, the grandson would say, I can't find the rake. On this day, the grandfather told the boy, go down to the barn, hitch up the mule, and then take him out to plow the north 40 acres. The boy was not looking forward to this job at all. The grandfather knew this too, because he watched the boy walk real slow with his head hung low all the way down the road to the barn. What normally would be a quick trip turned out to take nearly five minutes. When the boy finally reached the barn, the mule was standing very still with his head down in the hay. The boy thought he was eating, but that mule was watching the boy's every step. The grandson walked right up to the old mule and said, Come on, mule. Let's get going. Granddad says, we have to plow the North 40. The mule looked the boy straight between the eyes. Then he opened his mouth really wide and out it came. You tell your grandpa, snapped the mule, that I'm not doing any work today. The grandson jumped back and his jaw dropped in surprise. Then he ran back home as fast as he could to find his grandfather. Granddad, yelled the boy, that mule said he is not doing any work today. Another excuse, the grandfather thought. You go back there and tell that mule that he will do his work today, said Granddad. The boy was a little scared, but he took a deep breath and walked back to the barn. Then he looked the mule straight between his eyes and said in his biggest, strongest voice, my granddad said, you will do your work today. Well, the old mule did not like that one bit. He shook his head and stamped his hooves. Dust flew everywhere, even in the boy's hair. You go up there, said the mule, and tell your granddad that I said I'm not doing any work today and that's it the boy ran back home when he saw his grandfather he told him that mule said tell you he's not doing any work today the grandfather figured the boy just didn't want to work he turned to the boy and said oh yeah that does it i'm going to tell him myself the grandfather angrily picked up his cane and started down the old dirt road to the barn. The boy and their dog followed close behind. The old man walked straight over to the mule. Now you listen up, mule. If I say you're going to plow today, that's just what you're going to do. The mule snorted, kicked his leg back, and plain as day he replied, and I say I'm not going to plow today. The grandfather jumped back and let out, let out a holler. Then he, the boy, and the dog ran all the way to the chopping stump before they slumped to the ground in a huff. I can't believe it, said the grandfather. Who ever heard of a talking mule? Not me, said the boy. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own two eyes, said the dog. I never heard of such a mess said the axe. I know that's right, said the wood pile. You're all losing it, said the stump. The end.